Welcome to the Al Jazari channel, where you will learn capacity planning as a core operations management activity. In a previous series of videos capacity alternatives evaluation using the break-even analysis method is explained. If you wish to watch that video, click the above link. Here the processing requirement calculation is explained. To calculate the capacity requirements to process some products, the following pieces of information have to be known. Reasonably accurate demand forecasts for each product. The standard processing time per unit for each product. The number of working days per year. And the number of shifts that will be used. The above link is for a playlist explaining how to make the demand forecast. Let us solve an example. A department works one eight-hour shift, 250 days a year, and has these figures for the usage of a machine that is currently being considered as shown in this table. First, we need to find the processing time needed in hours by multiplying the annual demand of each product by its standard processing time per unit. For the first product, it is 400 times 5 equals 2,000 hours. For the second one, it is 300 times 8 equals 2,400 hours. And for the third product, it is 700 times 2 equals 1,400 hours. The total needed processing times equals 2,000 plus 2,400 plus 1,400 equals 5,800. Now calculate the annual capacity for one machine by multiplying the daily working hours by the number of yearly working days. It is given that the department works one eight-hour shift daily for 250 days per year. So, a machine's annual capacity equals 8 times 250 is equal to 2,000 hours per year. Finally, to determine the number of required machines to fulfill the annually forecasted demand, divide the total needed processing times by the machine's annual capacity. This is equal to 5,800 divided by 2,000 equals 2.9 machines approximate to unit equal to 3 machines. Consequently, three of these machines would be needed to handle the required volume. The same procedure can be used to help in decision-making as in this example. A manager must decide which type of equipment to buy. Type A or Type B Type A equipment costs $15,000 each, and Type B costs $11,000 each. The equipment can be operated 8 hours a day, 250 days a year. Either machine can be used to perform two types of chemical analysis, C1 and C2. Annual service requirements and processing times are shown in the following table. Which type of equipment should be purchased? and how many of that type will be needed. The goal is to minimize total purchase cost. At the beginning calculate the total processing time of each analysis type needed by each type of equipment by multiplying the annual volume by the processing time per analysis. For analysis, C1 with equipment, A, the total processing time equals 1,200 times 1 equal 1,200. For analysis, C2 with equipment, A, the total processing time equals 900 times 3 equal 2,700. For analysis, C1 with equipment, B, the total processing time equals 1,200 times 2 equal 2,400. For analysis, C2 with equipment, B, the total processing time equals 900 times 2 equal 1,800. Then calculate the total processing time for each machine. For machine A, it is 1,200 plus 2,700 equal 3,900. For machine B, it is 2,400 plus 1,800 equal 4,200. Now calculate the available processing time of the equipment by multiplying the number of operating hours per day by the number of operating days per year. That is 8 times 250 equals 2,000 hours. After that, calculate the required equipment of each type by dividing the total processing time for each machine by the available processing time of the equipment. For type A equipment, the required equipment equals 3,900 divided by 2,000 equals 1.95 approximately equals 2 pieces of equipment. 
while for Type B equipment, the required equipment equals 4,200 divided by 2,000 equals 2.1 approximately equals 3 pieces of equipment. After calculating the required equipment of each type, compute the corresponding purchasing cost by multiplying the number of pieces by the cost of one piece of equipment. For type A, the purchasing cost equals 2 times 15,000 equals $30,000. While for type B, the purchasing cost equals 3 times 11,000 equals $33,000. As the goal is to minimize the total purchasing cost, two pieces of type A would have sufficient capacity to handle the load at a lower cost than three pieces of type B. After solving these examples, let us solve problems. A manager must decide which type of machine to buy, A, B, or C. Machine costs are shown in this table. While the product forecasts and processing times on the machines are shown in this table. Assume that only purchasing costs are being considered. Which machine would have the lowest total cost, and how many of that machine would be needed? Known that machines operate 10 hours a day, 250 days a year. Following the same procedure used in the previous videos. Starting by calculating the total processing time for each product by each machine. The total time required to process the first product with machine A equals 16,000 times 3 equal 48,000. The total time required to process the first product with machine B equals 16,000 times 4 equal 64,000. The total time required to process the first product with machine C equals 16,000 times 2 equal 32,000. For the second product, the total time required to process it with machine A equals 12,000 times 4 equals 48,000. Continue in the same way until you calculate the total time required to process all products with the three machines as illustrated in this table. After that calculate the total processing time for each machine. For machine A, it is 48,000 plus 48,000 plus 30,000 plus 60,000 equal 186,000. The same for machine B, the total processing time is 208,000. And for machine C, the total processing time is 122,000. Now calculate the available processing time of a machine by multiplying the number of operating hours per day by the number of operating days per year. This is equal to 10 times 250 equals 2,500 hours. Multiply by 60 to convert it to minutes equals 150,000 minutes. Now calculate the required number of each machine by dividing the total processing time for each machine by the available processing time of a machine. The required number of machines A. NA equals 186,000 divided by 150,000 equals 1.24 roundup to two machines. For machine B, NB equals 208,000 divided by 150,000 equals 1.38 roundup to two machines. For machine C, NC equals 122,000 divided by 150,000 equals 0.81 roundups to one machine. We have three options. To buy two A machines at a total purchase cost of 2 times $40,000 equals $80,000. To buy two B machines at a total purchase cost of 2 times $30,000 equals $60,000. Or to buy one C machine at a total purchase cost of $80,000. In conclusion, we should buy two of the B machines at a total cost of $60,000 because this fulfills the requirement of the lowest total cost. In this problem, we learn how to find the number of needed machines. Given this information, where the given only is the purchasing cost of the machine. Here more information is available. The machines differ in terms of hourly operating costs. The A machines have an hourly operating cost of $10 each, B machines have an hourly operating cost of $11 each, and C machines have an hourly operating cost of $6 each. Which alternative would be selected, and how many machines, in order to minimize total cost while satisfying capacity processing requirements? 
following the same procedure used in the previous videos. Starting by calculating the total processing time for each product by each machine. Then calculate the total processing time for each machine. After that calculate the available processing time of a machine. Followed by the calculation of the required number of each machine. Now calculate the total cost of each machine by adding up the purchasing cost and the operating cost. So, the total cost of machines A equals 2 times 40,000 plus 186,000 times 10 divided by 60 equals $111,000. We divided here by 60 to convert the total processing time from minutes to hours as the operating cost is given in hours. In the same way, the total cost of machines B equals 2 times 30,000 plus 208,000 times 11 divided by 60 equals $98,133. And the total cost of machine C equals 1 times 80,000 plus 122,000 times 6 divided by 60 equals $92,200. Since machine C has the lowest total cost, we should buy one of the C machines in order to minimize the total cost. Another problem. A company manufactures a product using two machine cells. Each cell has a design capacity of 250 units per day and an effective capacity of 230 units per day. Currently, the actual output is 200 units per cell but the manager estimates that productivity improvements soon will increase output to 225 units per day. Annual demand is currently 50,000 units. It is forecasted that within two years, annual demand will triple. How many cells should the company plan to produce to satisfy predicted demand under these conditions? Assume 240 workdays per year. It is given that, the actual output will be 225 per day per cell, 240 working days per year, and projected annual demand equals 150,000 within two years. First, calculate the annual capacity per cell by multiplying the actual output of one cell per day by the number of working days per year. This is equal to 225 units per day times 240 days per year equals 54,000 units. To calculate the required number of cells simply divide the projected annual demand by the annual capacity per cell. This is equal to 150,000 divided by 54,000 equals 2.78 roundups to 3 cells. So, the company should plan to produce three cells to satisfy the predicted demand under the above conditions. In this video, the calculation of the processing requirement is explained by solving examples and problems. In the next video, another capacity planning topic will be explained so stay tuned and do not forget to subscribe to the channel and activate the alarm to be notified of the new videos. Thanks for watching. Your feedback is appreciated so, please comment on this video. And, if you like it press like and share it. See you again.